Hi, welcome to the Me and My Bass series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the basses or bass related or audio related stuff I own. I will tell you how it purchase them and why. Further, I will tell you my opinion about the playability and their sound. Uh, this time's up, the Court Slammer Short Scale 9082. This bass is made in Korea. It has a 20 fret 30 inch lacquered neck with a rosewood fingerboard. I have really no idea what kind of wood the body is. It has a P style uh, pickup setup, uh, which are the pickups are <laughs> power sound high gain super distortion pickups, rather a mouthful, and it has die cast metal tuners. Why did I buy this bass? Well, back in 1986, the whole thing, musical thing, started for me. I started together with Rob and Michiel, a hard rock parody band. Uh, and it was not really a band, it was really a joke. I heard the first uh, Venom album and I thought, well, we can do worse than that. So we made on purpose a really stupid, horrible demo tape and sent that to a nationwide talent roadshow, which was called Grote Prijs van Nederland. The large price of the Netherlands. What we didn't really expect it was the fact that we were asked to play uh, 50 minutes by the way, uh, a preliminary round in Paradiso Amsterdam. Here is a small clip of us doing that show. You could immediately spot the fact that I played uh, not this bass, but uh, the Rickenbacker, which was owned by Michiel, because I didn't own any instruments at that point. Uh, after this, we all thought, well, that were our 15 minutes of fame. But the week after this gig, somebody called me and asked us to play another show at the Steep in Amsterdam. So I thought I better uh, get myself a bass and an amp just in case this thing keeps rolling. And it did. For about four years, the joke kept on going together with the help of three singers and three guitar players until we were done laughing. Anyway, I needed a bass and I saw this little lovely red bass in the window of a music shop called Saxioni, so I bought it. There's not too much information to be found uh, about this bass. Uh, I did, however, see a YouTube video where a guy tells that the neck is painted to look like rosewood, but it actually isn't. I have no clue, to be honest. What attracted me to buy this bass was the fact I needed one fast, really. The weight is light, it has a comfortable neck profile. The, here is a small example how it sounds, first the bass solo, then the bass, in context with drums and guitar.
Signa Flow in this clip was as usual the base direct into the UED Apollo with an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the ROC A preset. Well, what can I say? There is not a rumbling kind of low end, but decent, by the way. But uh, that's uh, because it's a short scale. That's nature of the beast, I think. Although it was in my storage for some time, it was my first ever base, so I will never split with it. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like uh, the video and subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.